Get up and go with Duncan and Carly on demand. Oh, no, you're not doing this again. Yes, yes, we are. Well, you better get going. It's the Get Up and Go Show. And today is... Today is National Kiss Your Crush Day. Ooh. (laughs) (laughs) It's also International Gin and Tonic Day. Okay. Are you a gin and tonic kind of guy? I can do that. All right, all right. You could get down with the gin and tonic also National Seafood Bisque Day, mm. which sounds really good, and International Freelancer Day. And there you go. Some reasons to celebrate today. It is Thursday. It is going to be another nice day today. We are less than two weeks away from Halloween, and we've got the most Googled Halloween costumes in Rochester coming up for you a little bit later on this hour. 106.9 KROC. It's Duncan and Carly. According to a new article by Best Life Magazine, I have the top five calorie burning activities that don't feel like exercise on the board. Uh, Cleaning? Cleaning the house, number two. Um, Mowing the grass? I can't give you any of these. That's like kind of close to a couple of them. Yard work, gardening? You're in the right area. Gardening, number one answer. Really? Mm-hmm. Number one way to burn calories that doesn't feel like exercising. Okay. Um. What else? Hanky panky? <laughs> no, not in the top five. Um. Shopping. No, shopping's not on here. That's a pretty good guess, depending on what kind of shopping you're doing. Like, if you're walking around Costco, yeah. you're probably burning some calories. <laughs> Spend a day at the Mall of America, you yeah. will burn. You'll oh, burn a yeah. lot of calories. Oh, yeah. oh, you put them back on too. Yeah. <laughs> you okay. S- you smell the Auntie Anne's uh-huh. from, or Auntie Annie's, or whatever it's called, from a mile away, and you're like, <laughs> "It's so funny. Yes. I don't think anybody knows how to say that store name. I don't even Everybody know what it is. says it's Auntie." And yes. something, but it's pretzels and it smells amazing. Uh-huh. All right, what are the top five? Okay, so top five calorie burning activities that don't feel like exercise. Number five, playing with your kids. Okay. Number four, raking the leaves. Perfect this time of year. Mm-hmm. Number three, playing with your dog. Number two, cleaning the house. Number one is gardening. You've got 10,000 lakes in Minnesota and 10,000 stories about Minnesota on the 106.9 KROC app. The first ever candy crawl is coming up on October 28th in Rochester. Details on that in just a second. But first, you've got a list of the top 10 Halloween candies. The most popular Halloween candies according to shopping data by Instacart. Okay. So things that people are actually buying. Have you bought candy this year? No. Not oh yet. my God. It is expensive. Is it? Yes. I don't know what is happening, but everything is so expensive. You gotta hit up Costco. Including I think I was at Costco and I saw oh, the well. bag was like thirty dollars and I'm like, Jesus. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, so uh, I have the top ten most popular. Okay, so this is what you should buy to keep all the trick or treaters happy. Yeah, do you want to take a stab at any of these? Or uh, do you want me peanut to just... butter cups, got to be on there. Number one. Okay, Snickers. Uh, no. Snickers is not in the top ten. No. Get out of here. Oh, man. Kit Kats. Kit Kats, uh, number nine. Um, hmm. Twix? No. Twix is not in the top ten. <laughs> okay, what's Twix on there? Twix is not in the top ten. <laughs> uh, number ten is Starburst. Followed by Kit Kats, Candy Corn, Sour Patch Kids, Hershey's Milk Chocolate Bars, Twizzlers, Tootsie Pops, M&M's, Peanut M&M's. Number one is Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Tootsie Pops always ranks pretty high on the Halloween candy list. and I, I don't get it. I'm never like, when I was a kid, I was never mad to get them. Yeah, they're just just like me. I never really ate them, though. I ate other things first. Uh Yeah, you save that for the very end when you need a when you need yeah. your sugar fix, but you don't have anything else. Right, exactly. All right, so you're going to be able to load up on candy, get a big sugar fix on the 28th in downtown Rochester. It is the first ever candy crawl at the Peace Plaza. They're going to have a DJ with music. They're going to have a photo booth, an awesome photo booth, so you can capture memories. Fun. Wear your costumes. Yes. Your entire family should dress up. Because that would make it even more awesome. Obviously. Right? Uh, and then they're gonna be, uh, there's going to be a map where you can trick-or-treat at places all around downtown Rochester. Yeah, that'll be fun. And load up on candy. We've got all the details right now on the 106.9 KROC app. 
Celebrity Sound Bites on 106.9 KROC. Will Smith totally faked people out with a fake statement about his wife, Jane yeah. Pinkett Smith. So she's going on all these interviews. She's talking yes. about how they've been separated for seven years. Yep. How Chris Rock one time asked her out, how she's really in love with Tupac. All this crazy stuff, right? Yes. So he wanted to address that. I got something for you. Here's the thing. So my opinion of, of the... So he claimed he was going to make a statement about what she said, and then it's just him sneezing. Which is weird. Like, why would you do why that? Why are you bringing more attention to this? You look like a weenie. <laughs> like, Oh, my gosh. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. It's so weird. Okay, in other news, uh, Chris Rock and Kevin Hart, they teamed up for a stand-up tour earlier this year. It's going to be released on Netflix. They filmed a documentary that is coming out on December 12th. And finally, Barbie star Margot Robbie is number one on Maxim Magazine's Hot 100 list for the fourth time, which means she was ranked the hottest, hottest woman on the planet, which she she is a good-looking person. That's I would agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and her she credits one thing to her beautiful glowing appearance, sunscreen. Sunscreen every day. Every day, yep. sunscreen. Okay. And put it on your neck too. Your neck shows your age. 1069 KROC. So earlier this week, the Olympic Committee added new sports to the official lineup at the Olympics, including baseball and softball. They're bringing those two back. Squash and flag football. That one makes me laugh. I don't understand how that can be an Olympic sport. Flag football is the kind of thing that you play when you're in elementary school. Yeah, right? So open our app right now. Hit the chat button or call 507-281-2400. Let us know another game, another game for your childhood or another backyard game that you still play today that you would love to see added to the Olympics. What's the one where you have to, you're divided into teams and you have to run onto the other team's turf? and steal the flag. I can't remember what that's called. Isn't it just called capture the flag? Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, that is what it is. Okay. It makes me think of that, too. That I would be, be a cool game. I would love the to watch that. <laughs> Good morning, Jenna. What is a backyard game that you'd like added to the Olympics? Uh, beanbags. Be- Everybody is going to mm-hmm. say beanbags, bags right? Beanbags is so fun. <laughs> yeah. It's so fun. <laughs> Shelly says kickball. That'd be a good one. Steve said hopscotch. That'd be quite Olympic funny. Olympic hopscotch. It kind of. I wonder you could make it like uh, American Ninja Warrior. How do you even play hopscotch? You make the rules when you draw it out. Okay. Like <laughs> I've played with my daughter. I just don't know. Like how do you win or lose? I'm sure there would be something like, oh, the toe was outside of the line there. Gotcha. You yeah. got a penalty. You know. Okay. <laughs> uh, Seth says. Lawn darts, the metal ones, not those soft wussy darts. <laughs> I like that. Joe says freeze tag or red light, green light. Those would be great. Oh, that would be funny. That would be great. Oh, Molly says red rover. There we go. Red rover would be hilarious. You get Olympic athletes playing, playing red, red rover, rover. Big, strong, fast <laughs> men and she, women. She said clothesline action. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That'd be insane. Melissa says tetherball. Tetherball. There's another game I don't know. How do you win or lose? Uh, I don't know. Like, we would just hit it back and forth. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I suppose if you spin it all the way around on your opponent, maybe that's how maybe. you win. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Sarah said hide and seek. Hide and seek. Or okay. dodgeball. Dodgeball would be hilarious in the Olympics, Olympic too. hide and seek. Olympic hide and seek. I like it. It's so boring. <laughs> Oh, my God. Jimmy is hiding over behind that bush. Yeah. <laughs> Sarah doesn't seem to know that he's there. <laughs> It would be like... It would be worse than golf on TV. I was going to say, I'm imagining the announcers being exactly like the golf announcers. Uh (laughs) Uh, Chiara says, ghost in the graveyard and water balloon fights. I love playing. Water balloon fight. That would be hilarious. It's kind of like dodgeball a little bit. Yeah. I loved playing ghost in the graveyard, though. That's a great one. If I remember, that was hide and seek combined with tag, right? Yes, and you played it in the dark. Yeah. What about... Nobody said this from what I'm seeing, but what about Lava Monster? What is lava? Like Flora's Lava? 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's somebody who is the lava monster and they're trying to tag everyone on the jungle gym and you're running around trying to escape them. Okay. Yeah. I never played lava monster. And then when you get tagged, you become the lava monster. It's hilarious to me thinking of Olympic athletes. Mm Mm-hmm training for four years <laughs> to play, to play lava, lava monster. monster in the Olympics. <laughs> I've been training my whole life for this. <laughs> we have another person calling and saying bags. Nicole, are you good at bags? Yes. I mean, not to brag, but no, I think um, my husband and I, we played a lot. We used to play like at Shars back in the day and we won that one year. It was pretty fun. Oh, nice. you won a tournament. Wow. You must be good. You could be in the Olympics yeah. then. <laughs> So for I, bags. Well, not that good. Yeah, I've seen it on TV, and those people are really good. So I'm awful at bags until I have about two beers, and then I hit my zone. Mm-hmm. And then about exactly, and, and there's a sweet spot. Yeah. Yes. Much too. Yeah. Yes. By beer five, I'm just all over the place. <laughs> the bags are exactly. Yeah. The bags are going behind you. And yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. How did that happen? News or snooze with Duncan and Carly on 106.9 KROC Netflix. I bet you you know where this is going. No. It's raising their prices on their basic and premium subscription plans. Now, I was thinking, like, haven't we already talked about this? You tell me this every week, Carly. I know. I don't know anymore. I know. What is the price going to be? I So, the basic plan. We don't have ads. We don't have ads at my house. Okay, so this, both of these will be possibly for you. I don't know if you have the basic or the premium plan. But basic with no ads is now going to cost eleven ninety nine. Okay, we're paying more than that already. So. Premium will cost twenty two ninety nine. Oh my gosh! Per month, which is so bad. <laughs> and uh, you know what I realized the other day is that I've heard about all of these streaming services increasing their prices, except Paramount Plus. The one that I pay for. (laughs) (laughs) You better knock on wood. (laughs) Pepperidge Farm is launching a new line of goldfish that's inspired by the movie Elf, where he douses everything in syrup. Are they doing goldfish crackers with syrup? They're doing coating maple syrup flavored grams is what they're calling it. I was thinking of the cheese goldfish. Yeah, that'd be disgusting. <laughs> that'd be really gross. But with like a graham cracker flavor, that'd be okay. Uh, it, yeah, it would taste pretty good. It's going to taste like caramel and vanilla. And they're going to look like Buddy the Elf instead of goldfish, which is pretty funny. And they're going to hit stores on November 1st. I just uh, looked up how old Elf is. Ooh, I don't want to know. Because I was like, wow, that's cool. That movie is I mean, still inspiring things. It came out in the early 2000s. Did Iconic. It it's 20 years old this yeah. year. Ooh, ah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and finally, there's a grocery store that's going to be lowering their prices on Thanksgiving foods. That is Aldi. Nice. That will be doing that. They're lowering. They're cutting prices on more than 70 holiday food items. Some of them, some of them being marked down to 50% off which is really nice with everything else being so expensive. I think Walmart did the same thing last year, but definitely good news from Aldi. It's Duncan and Carly. That's news or snooze for today. You can get more local news right now on the 106.9 KROC app. Carly in the morning on 106.9 KROC. I saw this story this morning, Carly, and I immediately thought of you. A world record has been set. It's the cat with the world's loudest purr. This is an official attempt for the loudest purr by a domestic cat. Are you ready? Yes, we are. I can now confirm that you achieved 54.6 decibels a weighted. Congratulations. <laughs> so cute. They had the little meter there. Yes. They put it right up against the cat. And that apparently is the loudest cat. I mean, I would argue, I, I think our cat has a really loud purr. I think our cat has really loud purr, too. I've never measured it, and though. She's, she is, she's a purring machine. She purrs all the time. She could just be sitting there looking at you, and she's purring. Maybe I should call up the Guinness Book of World Records and get, get them, them over. Get them over, yeah. To your house. Come on, Sahara. You got to start making us some money somehow. <laughs> <laughs> so they say this cat's uh, purr. Is uh, makes the equivalent noise to a boiling kettle. Yeah, I think our cat is about that loud as well. <laughs> We've just never contacted the Guinness Book of World Records. Well, now you have a project for the weekend there to work we on. There we go. <laughs> Louder, Sahara. Train, you can do it. train that cat. <laughs>
Get in the record book. Uh, speaking of animals, the Mayo Clinic. Yes, they have a new therapy animal, and he's a little miniature horse. I didn't even know they had therapy animals, but yeah. that makes sense. They have two dogs that go and visit patients who might be like anxious or yeah. maybe they've been there for a while and they or for just need kids and they just need a smile. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. But, you know, of course, there are some pe- people who are afraid of dogs or they're allergic. And so that's where Munchkin, the miniature horse, comes in. It is the most adorable animal I've ever seen He's in my life. so cute. He also likes to read with kids and he'll like nuzzle the page to, to help turn the page if you want. That's so adorable. He's so cute. Duncan and Carly, weekday mornings on 106.9 KROC.